G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, check out uh, the LearnDelphi.tv website. There's um, lots more free videos there, plus there is uh, some commercial videos, which is worth checking out. Uh, let's start by creating a new VCL Forms application. And we want to get some data. Um, so go to the Data Explorer and check out SQLite and uh, We'll grab the employees table. So it's created a uh, connection for us and a table. And let's make it active by default. A DB grid and a data source are the other components we'll need. So hook that up to employees and hook that up to our data source. And I'm just going to align this to client. Okay, uh, so a very basic data aware application. I'll briefly run it. And as you can see, we can scroll through and everything. Uh, so, not particularly interesting at this stage. Now, what we can do, and what I often do with client data sets, is in the uh, on title click, we can sort by that uh, that field. So our employee table dot uh, index field names. Okay, so when we run that and click on our uh, title, it sorts by that field. Now, if I click twice, it's just going to sort uh, that same way. And um, if, if you wanted to now click to reverse sort, uh, that's quite hard with client data sets. You need to create custom indexes, and, and they're not very friendly. You have to create and free them uh, to make them work, or create multiple multiple indexes. Um, but with FireDAC, uh, we can. I can say if we're already sorting by this index. Then, so, and what I can append on the end is a colon D to say sort descending. So if we're already sorting by a particular field, um, we want to reverse sort it. Uh, otherwise, we want to sort by the field that we've clicked on. So in practice, I can click and we're now uh, sorted alphabetically and reverse alphabetically. So um, that's pretty simple code and it's way simple, more simple than with a client data set to achieve the same thing. Um, now if we look at the help, uh, which I have already uh, brought up, um, we can see here, here are the parameters we can include. It's um, D, A and N, which uh, D for descending, which we've already looked at. Uh, ascending is by default, so not particularly helpful, and uh, in use case insensitive sorting on this field. So uh, if we run it presently, um, let's give Michael a, oops, a limb, and sort by first name. Uh, we see that uh, Michael is still being sorted alphabetically. So at the end, and in theory, I haven't actually tested this because I, I generally don't uh, care too much, um, it's done nothing. So uh, I'll just verify that we don't need another colon there, but I'm pretty sure that ah, uh, yes, okay. So definitely um, I don't know, I clicked that twice. Uh, yeah, no, that's still still sorted uh, alphabetically. So I don't think that N actually does anything useful, despite what the help says. Um, but, oops, yep. Uh, check out um, uh, learndelphi.tv and in the products, I have uh, my set of commercial videos. There's um, quite a lot of hours, as you can see. 
um, best value for money is the mega pack. Uh, so that's that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, it's a bit of a step up from uh, client data sets uh, in terms of ease of sorting. Um, so I hope you find that useful. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.